As of April 23, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 2,544,792 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 175,694 deaths. There are now 957,402 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. St. Lucia has recorded a total of 15 confirmed cases of COVID-19, all of whom have recovered and been discharged from care. Results received on Friday, April 24, 2020, from testing carried out during the period April 21st to the 24th, 2020, of 60 samples are all negative. We note that this is a result of our collective efforts of our health professionals working collaboratively to manage our cases and the sacrifices made by the public during the period of shutdown. Though this 100% recovery rate provides us with a milestone worth recognizing, we at the Ministry of Health continue to caution the public that any signs attained should not be understood as a reason to let down our guard or to throw caution to the wind. We are implementing our national response to COVID-19 epidemic and as such, we should collectively remain focused and committed to reducing the spread of the virus. At this stage, it is still difficult to accurately predict how the pandemic will progress for us in St. Lucia. Three possible outcomes are the possible interruption of human-to-human -human transmission, recurring epidemic waves, both small and large, that is minor increases and decreases, or great increases and decreases and the continuous low-level transmission. It must be noted that as we gradually facilitate the availability of essential services, the risk of transmission is increased. We predict recurring epidemic waves with low levels of transmission. This requires that the public works closely with us in maintaining the physical distancing measures at all times. The Ministry of Health we have to remain vigilant and maintain the capacity for early detection, aggressive contact tracing, quarantine and isolation, testing and treatment capacity. The health education component is critical to keep you informed in a timely manner. We have expanded the testing protocols to cover persons with respiratory symptoms within the communities, which will continue today and over the weekend. At our health facilities, persons who present with flu-like symptoms are assessed and persons who satisfy the clinical requirements for COVID-19 are tested. With ongoing screening and testing, there is a likelihood of new cases being confirmed in the coming days or weeks. There is no immediate evidence of circulation of COVID-19 within our population or evidence of community spread, but it cannot be assumed that there are no cases or that new cases cannot be detected. With this in mind, every individual is asked to protect their health and well-being, ensure that all of the recommended infection and control measures are being followed closely. This includes the use of facial masks, cough and sneeze etiquette, and frequent hand washing. The Ministry of Health continues active surveillance for COVID-19, but in the interim, we ask all to remain guarded. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms, go to the nearest respiratory clinic or call one of our telemedicine physicians for guidance. If there is a need for any general information on COVID-19, you may call our 311 information hotline from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight daily. All of these telephone services are free of charge to the public. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue to provide the public with regular updates on COVID-19.